It might make Yeah. But, I mean, this does have a probably a bit of a bias in one direction or the other. Targeting the strongest jet, a spacecraft would land near the jet's source, a vent in the ice. Once on the surface, the Exobiology Extant Life Surveyor Robot, or EELS, would leave the lander and travel to the edge of the vent opening. After assessing its surroundings, EELS anchors itself to the surface to push against the force of the vapor coming from the jet. It then places its sensor head into the jet streamline. From this first-of-its-kind surface experiment, Scientists will learn more about the mechanisms driving the jet activity and the chemical makeup of the spray. But to truly characterize the ocean that lies beneath, eels must venture deeper. Guided by pressure sensors, eels would autonomously follow the flow of vapor streaming up the vent. It pushes on the side walls of the vent conduit, where the ice, heated and pressurized by the vent flow, acts remarkably like ice here on Earth. Eels consists of many counter-rotating threads that act as self-propelling ice skates that grip and move the robot forward against the jet forces. By adopting a spiral configuration, Eels adapts to the vent's uneven interior. It reconfigures itself as it goes, based on the forces its sensors measure from pressing against the walls. Researchers think that 
deeper down, the vents most likely constrict to a smaller diameter, forming a narrow throat. Eels is designed to adapt to this, becoming a self-driven screw, able to power through this point of greatest pressure and flow. Once in the water, eels propels itself using its spiral threads and uses its instruments to see if it swims alone. And maybe one day, on a follow-up mission, this intrepid robot might venture even deeper to the hydrothermal vents on the moon's sea floor to search for possible alien nurseries of life.